Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we're going to talk about yes, right in front of you, a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle project. Now, I know many of you people are going to start emailing me and posting comments below this video about Chris, why did you pick up a 70 to restore? Uh, I thought they weren't worth it. I thought, you know, you know, the kind of money you put into a restoration in the end, these cars are just not bringing the money and yada yada. I realized that, uh, but I also realized that a lot of the earlier bugs are also getting bought. Um, we're coming up in the years now. I mean, think about it. In a couple more years, we're in late 2017 right now, almost December 2017. And think about it. In a couple years, this car is going to be 50 years old. It sounds crazy. Uh, it's just, it's, you know, a few years ago, 10 years ago, when I started this business, you didn't think much of these, you know, 68 and laters or the 70 model Beetles. I mean, even Super Beetles, I'm still not that crazy about. But they're fun cars, and they're coming into their own. They're going to be coming into the next car's to restore so I guess I think I'm looking ahead and uh, thinking of the future that yeah this car is gonna be 50 years old so I got a call uh, a couple months ago from a guy in uh, upstate New York that had this car since the early 80s this is an all original 1970 Yukon yellow numbers matching convertible Beetle I do like 70 a lot I had a Clementine orange 70 Beetle that I bought on eBay last year and, uh, you know, it, it was already painted, it was a great driving car, and I just changed the interior, and I had so much fun in the car. And uh, why was it so much fun? Why? Because around 1970, they started to get things really right with the Beetle. I mean, the suspension, the motor, I love the motor. This is a one-year-only motor in a 70 Beetle. 70's got some one-year features on it, which is really cool. Um, check this out, this is pretty cool. Here's a 1600 single port motor. Great little motor. I actually like this motor better than the dual port 1600. Um, check that out. A little bit of snake skin here. <laughs> Some little guy was living in here for a while. I mean, this car, when we found this car, it was to the side of this guy's driveway and sunken into the grass. It had all four flat tires. I mean, dry rotted beyond belief. And I mean, you can see why I have this thing up on jack stands right now. Because I need to get this thing rolling. So I had to break the tires off the cruddy rims. Get the rims media blasted and uh, painted, and I'm going to put some tires on it so I can roll this thing around. Uh, but remarkably, this thing is all intact. It has never been hit. It has got some rust on the, the rockers, um, a little bit on the support rails. Nothing to the point where it scared me saying, hey, it's not going to be worth it. Um, so we're going to do our magic with this car. Now, 70 Beetles, 68 and later Beetles. If you go on Craigslist, you go on the Samba. I'm telling you, it's they all like blend together. But do I want to go back to Yukon Yellow? I don't know. I don't think so. I I I like it, but everything else is Yukon Yellow out there. Everything else is Savannah Beige. Everything else is the blue, uh, or there's a ton of reds on there. And when you look on the Samba or on Craigslist and look in that list of bugs that come up, they all kind of blend together. You can't tell sometimes which car is which. So I don't mind picking a color from a Beetle back in, say, the 50s or the early 60s or mid-60s even. Um, I love Strato Silver. I love uh, this 54 we did for a friend of ours in Almond Green. It's a metallic green. Or this Diamond Gray. This Diamond Green. Um, there's so many great colors that were offered in the 50s, metallic, that I like that I don't see if there's anything wrong with applying it to a car like this to get rid of that Yukon Yellow. I know some people are going to say, hey, Chris, you shouldn't do that. I'll get comments. I know. I get it. But uh, in the end, it comes down to making the car look better than it did from factory, making it look somewhat period, and basically, you know, you want it to stand out. You want to get the most bang for your buck. So if you're going to do a restoration on a car, you know, go with a color that's going to bring the return, right? So Yukon Yellow, I've tested the market several times with Yukon Yellow, and it, it's the kind of color that really does not bring a huge you know, dollar to it. So if I'm going to put my time and money into this car, this just goes for all restorers out there, or guys who are doing this on their own, color is huge. It's the first thing the client sees. So let's make this attractive. Let's make this real vintage looking and make it killer. We just want it to stand out, make it pop, and like I said, I don't mind going with an early, uh, an earlier color. 
So again, here are some of the common problems we found with the car uh, inside wheel well sections. You know, but they sell this whole panel here, which is not bad. Clocker Home, uh, you can get from either Wolfsburg West, CIP1.com, JBugs, they all pretty much carry the same product. Um, there are some other guys now popping up in Europe that are doing some incredible metal work. Um, RestorationPanels.com, there's Wolf Parts. They do kind of center more on the earlier Beetles, um, but um, I think hopefully uh, down the line they're going to start to make some sheet panel, sheet metal panels for the, the later bugs. Yeah, it's got the bigger lights, I know. Um, it's got the straight bumpers, which I still actually like. Um, I'm not going to go back to early bumpers or anything like that. Everything's going to go back correctly to the car as far as its shape. I'm not going to go to earlier tail lights or anything, um, which some people do, um, which is fine, you know. Uh, I just think uh, I'm going to give this a shot. Um, we've restored these before, but I think, you know, 68 and laters are going to start to come into their own. Um, you know, again, I mean, 68 Beetle is going to be 50 years old next year. And uh, I think that's a milestone. That's a time when things start to shift market-wise. For these cars so we'll see what happens but uh, overall I mean the car is very straight I was amazed as how the doors opened and closed really nicely I mean this side heater channel is actually not too bad here's the original interior I mean you could just smell it I mean original dash pad it's got a lot of originality to it this car was never restored I think it maybe had one repaint on it uh, that's a form of restoration but overall um, Everything else was intact. Inside the trunk area still shows the original uh, sticker, the Yukon Yellow. So, but I mean, these doors actually shut really good and the lines are actually excellent. So, um, that's one thing you want to look for when you're buying a project like this because you don't want to dump a ton of money into them, you know, uh, to fix so much body work. Because uh, I'll tell you right now, body work is a huge expense and a huge, uh, could take a lot of time to get the car straight, especially a convertible. So, uh, so yeah, 1970 convertible Yukon Yellow found it here in New York. Got some rust issues here and there to fix, but nothing that, you know, we can't tackle. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. And if you've got any comments or questions, you can email me or uh, just drop a comment below. Okay, take care.